Okay, dear student, let's see what is there in this question. In the Bohr model of hydrogen, an electron in the ground state <clears throat> has the orbit radius r and the speed is v. In the first excited state, the electron orbit becomes 4r. What is the speed of the electron in the first excited state? So, dear students, in this question, um, there will be like there are direct formulas which you can use, but uh, they are not given in the data booklet. But because this is topic 12, so I will not say that it is not given in the book or it is not in your syllabus. So that is in your syllabus, that is given in the books also. But um, I, I don't think that this formula is given in the data booklet. By the way, there are two formulas that I tell you, just uh, you, you need to remember. Um, the, the radius is given as 0 0.53 n square, and the unit for the radius is angstrom. So one angstrom is equal to 10 raised to power negative 10 meter. So this is something that you need to remember. Okay, there is no if and but. So radius is always directly proportional to n square. So it says the first excited state. It means that he's referring to n is equal to 2. So clearly the radius is becoming four times. That explains everything here, isn't it? Now, accordingly, we can find the formula for the velocity. But if you literally want to go into the basics and you want to um, go for like the proper method of it, that will take a lot of time. It will be very lengthy and uh, it will not give you the correct, uh, the right, like uh, quick answers. So it is better if you remember these things. The velocity is given as 2.1 into 10 raised to power 6 into divided by n. Well, there is a z also there because of the atomic number, but 2.1 10 to power 6 n meter per second. So this is the velocity of the electron in its particular shells. Like if n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, you can find the velocity by using this method. And accordingly, there is a third formula also, which is for the total energy. And that is given by a negative 13.6 divided by n square. And the unit is EV. So uh, this is the total energy. Uh, so this, according to this, we find like uh, what is... Um, the total energy, what is the velocity, what is the radius. So clearly from this, we can say that the velocity is inversely proportional to n. Now, if it is inversely proportional to n, so we can say that v2 divided by v1 will be equal to 1 divided by 2. So v2 is going to be v by 2. That's clear and straightforward answer. Nothing to worry about. The only thing is that you must know what are these things. And this is absolutely the correct answer. And this is how we do it. So my advice to you, remember these formulas. Okay, students, all the best. Bye.